Hello, my name is Sean Zizog, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate your own personal QR code. To get started, you need to visit a-webdesign.com and then for the menu at the top, you select Services and then select QR Codes. Once you are within the QR Codes page, you can actually create a number of different QR codes here. The first one is text. So you can put a little story of yourself or some content. So some people might well actually want to do this to actually put uh, generate a QR code for a gravestone, for example. They can put lyrics of a song or anything like this. Now QR stands for quick response. So once you finish your, with your text, you can click on Generate QR Code and scroll down. Here you can actually highlight this URL or you can select Download Image. You click OK and then you have your picture saved onto your Documents area. Now you can use this image, this QR code on uh, a business card, on any card, on flyers, and even, like I said before, on gravestones. The next option you have is email. You can put your email address. You can put your subject. And then you can put your message. You click on Generate QR Code, scroll down, and then you can click Download. You can also share the QR code with all these uh, different websites. So the next thing you need to do is click on Telephone. So you add your telephone number there, but then you generate QR code again, and again you can download. So every time somebody clicks on the scans your QR code, they will be able to actually see your telephone number, and then click on your telephone number and basically contact you. The next thing you can create is URL. You can add a URL and you can generate QR code. Now you can share your URL by using any of these websites again. Or you can just download it, save it, and then put it on a business card again or anywhere else you wish. The next option is VCard. Now VCard stands for virtual card, not physical card, virtual card, which means that you can actually put your full name, your company name, your title, your telephone number, your email address, your URL, your string number, your city, your state, who was known as county, your postcode, your country, and some notes. Once you've finished, you click Generate and your QR code is generated. You can actually download the picture and you can put this onto your physical card, business card. So therefore, when people scan your QR code, they will be able to see all your personal details. They store all your personal details easily and quickly. Now, Mi card is similar. V card, SMS, you can put your telephone number there, you can put a message, G 
generate, download, apply to any of your resources you wish. Location, you can put the address, you can actually find the latitude and the LNG by using Google. Bookmark, you can put the title for your web page and the URL of your web page. Generate, download. The process is exactly the same for absolutely every single one of these options. Or even Wi Fi, if you have internet cafe or you work in a cafe and you're sick and tired of people telling people you're the uh, wireless passkey, the wireless uh, name and the passkey, it's time for you to generate a QR code for this. Okay, probably put it on the, on, on the main entrance or maybe on the receipt of your um, cafe. Okay, I hope you've learned something new today. Uh, just before you, before I go, I would like to clarify one thing. Your data will not be stored on this website. So we're not holding any of the data. So everything is confidential. Uh, we're using HTTPS, uh, Secure Socket Layer. Uh, and we do not store anything on uh, onto our database. So anything you put there, uh, once you refresh the page, IKEA will be deleted or will be stored on your cookies on your local machine. If you have any questions or if you uh, have any other suggestions on how to improve this QR code generator, please let us know. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.